themselves to. So yeah, here they are. Familiar territory for them, not for the Movistar riders. Let's get this party started. The break has concluded. We're ready for our pistol. One expert onto our favorite ring ends here as those favorites we just discussed. Three towards A, Alex searching for info mid and while Mopos is tasked with holding on towards the B bomb site. Okay, well, you've got a nice setup here. Should be able to deal with this executor. Enough bodies. Yeah, it's just a question of execution and Death is going to be the first to fire a shot and successfully oh. two have already fallen from the end's commitment. Deha distracted, still claws it back. Deha's double is big and now Death's on notice. Run down, Hades should have this, doesn't have any help. Deha down and out through the gap in the smoke and Spinks, yeah, finished off. That's a huge round out of Death's. Four frags just sitting on CT. Yeah, massive stuff from him and it could have gotten out of control because they killed the, the, the sleeper cell, right? That was the under balcony player and the firebox player right there on the way on in. And those players normally want to allow them to scale on up because Death's is making it look like it's a standard round where you'd have one guy ticket playing retake. They're actually get mowed on down by Deha here. So Death's has had to do an awful lot of work. Two crispy ones out the gates and then follows up through the flash onto Hades and the final kill of the round onto Spink. So a good start denying the plant, but Ents, they're going to go into the four spite. Eagles for everybody. Light util smattering the purchases. That does seem like an idyllic CT buy, doesn't it? You've got lots of heavy util on Mopoz if he does want to repel anything quick. Deaths, Alex, responsible for middle. Now, there is one way to bypass his M4 in middle, and that's exactly what they're doing. Hades will get the info and ward off Alex. He won't be willing to contest. Yeah, decent amount of damage there, down to 72. So, scary stuff against the Deagles now on the repeat. Deaths also on notice from this triple box position. We'll smoke off towards ramp to buy him a buffer, but connector's coming and... Ooh, scary. A bit jarring. Oh, it's no longer scary. In fact, he actually looks under the bed and grabs the baseball bat straight to the monster's head. Deha in... A little bit of jeopardy. He does have the bomb on his back, so with the loss of Hades, he can go wherever he wants, and it seems like he'd like to head straight onto the underworld. This is a great start from Deaths, right? He's normally one of the more supportive elements for the Mobby Star Riders. We talk about some pious Alex and, and then Mopoz, the absolute madman, and the maneuvers he gets away without armor within this game. But uh, we're not awfully you know, too consistently talking about the likes of Deaths or Davy G. Those two uh, can have their moments. We have seen it. Oh, Davy G had a great game during the group stage on Mirage. I think he dropped 30 plus kills. They kept trying to target his bomb site. And now Deaths has well been dealt a couple of early blows over towards A, but to stand tall and able to convert with ease. Now it's just down to a lighter buy this time. No armor. Yeah, I mean, if they can keep this up, the first three rounds is a real beautiful conversion. They've only conceded two deaths so far, or three. Still, Alex hands another one to Snappy. That's his third death. Yeah, they haven't had to go for an awful lot of upgrades here. If they keep everybody alive right now, they can rock these MP9s into the next round of play. Mopoz is having a look, not seeing a whole lot as they just posture towards top mid. Smoke's fading, and Deha is only one to find any damage so far. It's a pretty solid setup. With Mopoz just crawling short now, Sun Pius, who he'd love a couple of SMG frags. Of course, his teammates can purchase that AWAP for him. There they are. A couple of extra cash injected in. Deha just hitting the lovely headshot onto Alex. But with the bomb loose, he's going to go ahead and try and his luck. Nice one for Mopoz. Another 600 bucks in his first frag as well. And they retain that M4. So right now, it's likely to see them give an AWP over towards some Pius, or he'll buy his own either way. Uh, the two MP9s can operate here on Mopoz and Davy G, and Alex and Deaths can continue to rock out the M4A1S. But the AKs on the other side, that's where the story is all about. And it's about to get into their first gun round. Now let's see how they want to operate here. We know when they played Nuke against Fnatic just the other day that the first half got away from them. They had to pull up their socks and have a lockout CT side. Yeah, I think that's his CT sides are just generally quite intimidating. Gap on the smoke for Sun Pius. He's got the moves required. Flash is usually destined for this position, and it does look like one's got him booked. Space taken quite aggressively. Snappy partnered up with Madden. Sun Pius to be boosted to try and clear out this connector area. And oh, an opportunity goes awry. They're leaning B quite heavily, and Sun Pius has been caught out. Snappy straight through the window, and now behind the entirety of Movistar's line. They have to count on Davi G. If he could get another, that would be ridiculous. But Ents' frags have come through, and a save likely for the rest of these deaths. And Alex just sitting on the A side. Yeah, good play from Snappy right there. Right, getting through the window, being able to open things up. A big frag to make, and then they just bully their way on towards B, trading efficiently, keeping four alive, and they don't even really need to hunt this one on down. The upgrade for Hades into that some pious AWP is tidy. 
And the scoreline will be reading three to one. So the bounce back that we were looking for, just to see how much potency there was going to be in the entity side. And that's good for them to get underway early. Now, it's a bit more of a bonus round, right? Deaths and Alex both would be able to drop if necessary. The only thing that they need to get into the hands again would be a Sampias AWP. So staying alive here, integral to make sure the buys stay afloat early for the riders. Just because you're a bit of a Counter-Strike nerd, okay. let me see how close you can get to the actual answer. We'll look it up after. What do you reckon in a Tier 1 official match is the longest someone's gone without dying? Oh. Didn't we have a half? One. Didn't we have a half where someone got like 23 and 0? Or am I just absolutely... Getting back underway, and I think they want to shut things down all early yeah, with these big greens. There's a lot of emphasis on closing this one out with a double AWP investment early. Ents were quite happy with the space they managed to find and manufacture towards beat and short. Davy G disposed, disposed, deployed would be the word I'm looking for. Toasted up on the apps. Pressure into mid. Let's see if Mopos can handle it a bit better this time. He's just going to be responsible for the short ramp. Yeah, Mopos is the type of guy to go with some mental plays. So I'm sure we'll see more than a few of those here today. He's also more than happy to sell his team down the river to convert around. Davy's gone down with that AWP, the secondary investment oh. dead, and Madden right now, up close and personal, has the jewel, knows where Mopoz is, but wants to back on off. Oh, you've got to be scared if you're Mopoz now. Window smoke arrives, you're known. They can go wherever they desire. D has already killed that B solo. And now another all rattles off. Oh dear, Movi Star Riders, very hot under the collar now. Yeah, Mopoz felt caged and he had to make a play, but it's Alex's turn now, and ahead of the smoke is going to be Alex tucking under the line of sight, gets the opening frag, and maybe stalls out this B push for now. The bomb. If Sampias was to connect that shot onto Snappy, we could have had a round instead. Things will slow on down. And Deaths again, well, the Immortal, this time unable to contribute twice. That is difficult, right? They've just walked on into their death in multiple occasions right there. So starting to hunt. If you take a look at the radar, top left, Snappy coming in through Spawn, and well, Spinks, the other. They want to find Deaths. They want to make sure they can take away this M4. He has heard Snappy's position and should be good for one. Now it's about getting away. He's not going to be ready for Palace, is he? If he Maybe ramp, he, yeah. he might survive. It looks like he's working it out. Because the thing is, right now, Spinks can't make any sound cues because he'll give up his position and he's going to take his time. The bomb halfway ticked. Death has found Roost over towards that A ramp position. Bad and out, trying to get quick as you like to help this one out. But if he continues to push towards T spawn, should be safe. Not the Brazilian safe. He's going to be later. With one and another up to 10. So Deaths could be looking to set that record that you were discussing. Does retain the M4 and gets the final kill. The greed of ends. Everybody goes down. Well, Deaths uh, is hitting a couple of shots early here today and happy to take the exits. I love how he's got the Movistar blue branded frames as well. He is fully on brand. We get to see this. So this is Davy G getting booked. Oh, man. Yeah, he did get booked, didn't he? Yeah, full. I think that's a straight red card. That is rough. Very rough death right there, especially with the double orb setup and how much weight you'd put into it, how heavy of an investment that is. Well, they're buying back in somewhat here, Riders. Some pious into another AWP. These keep magically coming out of his ass. Just retaining that M4 and Eagles for two, a P250 for Davi. It's a Palace Lurk. It's a 2 2 up eight round down out. Palace here. Death's Death. just hitting everything. <laughs> He's not going to die. I spoke too soon. The Castor's Curse. No, Death. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All good. He backs away. They have lost A. He bombed through Palace. They haven't committed. And Madden is still the unknown entity. I wonder if that's going to come around later through Underpass. Oh, look at Mopos's flank. There's a flank on a flank right now. If yeah. they don't account for Mopos coming on through, this round could fall apart for Ents. And remember, everybody died. And they won the previous. Yeah, it shouldn't be much more for the Marvy Star Riders here, but some Pius is in the right place. Madden's calling B clear, though. What do you do? Do you have a connector now? Like, they're, they're planning. The bomb's going down. Does Madden just play clutch? Oh, and there it goes. I'd have to. Shut down. Mopos can catch Snappy if they just bide their time. Hades confirms his presence window. Not going to be an easy retake. You got the kit on deaths. The smoke for a bomb on Mopos, though. If he can just bang Snappy out. Oh, which he has. Leaves Madden and Hades twiddling their thumbs and getting worried now. There's five players still alive from the Mobby Star Riders. They can play this right. Madden can try and be the hero. Needs to evade that. Very evasive head. And now they're running him down. Six HP. They've got enough time, I believe. Perfect. That feels very good for the Movie Star Riders. Two rifles, Chad. Two weapons. The rest eagles. And they leave with the fourth round. That's ridiculous. Uh, you can hear how much that means. And that's a massive round to win. Right? That is a huge round to win right there. I cannot believe they're able to pull that one off. Such a passionate in-game leader is Alex as well. I, I can't believe that Death gets that first kill. They continue towards A. Madden calling B completely clear. Like, you have to know that the other players are close. And they're just getting pulled apart here. So... 
The rider is actually giving enough room for Enz to hang themselves in that one, and they can buy back in. The bomb does go down again. It's a Galil for Hades, so no AWP. The financial woes for Enz quite early. That's a troublesome round to lose right here. Well, yeah, I mean, that just gives the control right back. Enz, it looked like they were just about to seize control of the reins, but taken out of their hands. They want to try and punish this B bomb site here, and this is where Davi is holding. Now, last time a team tried to punish him, I think it was Godsent. He was able to pummel them, and that is an eight and a half right there. Madden and Diha softened up to about half HP. They're coming in. Yeah, he's going to be tested, isn't he? He's got Mopoz in support and more damage. They're building a perfect defense here. The blue wall is up and double from Davi G. Get out of my B bomb site. On the reload, surely. That smoke is only going to favor Davi G. He can mantle at any time, and that's if they don't fall to Mopoz. Another fag found. Hades retreating, and Snappy is perhaps the only one that can slink. Behind enemy lines, but this angle's too good. Way too good from death. 13 and counting. Yikes. Snappy keeps finding the room, but uh, sometimes it doesn't account for a whole lot like that. Just backpedaling, doing the moonwalk. Meeting death with a smile on his face, and Hades now with this Galil in hand. He does not have an AK to save, so it's not going to be the tidiest of pickups. And oh, Mopples is starting to look his way. Just. Peaks in the wrong direction. Hades will get a kill, but now his position's given up. 30 seconds remaining on the clock. And if Hades wants to hold on to the Galil, ugh, it feels like a bad price to take home from the fair. Yeah. It's like that hard candy no one ever eats. Just exists. That was a Christmas cake we got every year, and no one ever ate it. It was real solid. Yeah, the stupid things we do for tradition, huh? Well, does he want to die? Hades is now stepping out very, very he does. late into middle. Unless that... Is that an AK-47? He's not... They're going to hear this, yeah. so maybe they want to hunt it down. Four, three, two... Oh, yeah. Very fortunate to get away there on the timing. So, lucky to get that upgrade, a big upgrade to make going forward. It's going to have to be a half by or, or maybe even an eco coming out from Entz right now. And Davi's done more than enough here. That defensive smoke dropped. It divides the side. He pivots. He gets a couple of big kills. And, then, yeah, it doesn't get easy for deaths. A, a massive frag to find. Five to two. Pretty good half already from the riders is that half by... He's starting to get pieced together. It's a Glock currently for Diha with some flashes. Two Deagles and a Tech-9 to go alongside with this saved AK-47 and turning their attention straight towards A, which wouldn't be a bad call early. Steph's playing passive towards Ticket, but he has just been absolutely demolishing them. These are the rounds you just can't afford to let go. You know there's going to be a hero AK in play. Hades flashed in. Death's responsible and just takes the fight. Knocks him down. Does lose his life at uh, the second engagement. Diha does catch that nade and spot it on the retreat as well. Oh. This has been handled. Kill from some pies. They're Sphinx. Traditionally one of the heroes when we're talking about NC. One of the superstars. Can't yet to find a frag. I'm sure he'd be looking for a kill on this Deagle right here, right now. If he sticks his head up again, that AWP of some pies could punish. More smokes towards the palace position. This round is done and dusted even with Snappy lurking under window. And Alex will take down Spinx. So 0 and 7 for Spinx. Not the greatest of starts. This is really good from the riders. There's such a conversation about this team, obviously, representing Spain. It's been a long, long time since it was a Spanish team represented at the highest level of Counter-Strike. Counter and a mandatory round that they've handled. So you have to be happy. They've won a low buy round. They've converted against these pistol upgrades with the saved AK. If you're the coach, you're going to be very happy with how things are flowing so far. Especially, because, I mean, ever since that recovered round, I mean, the extra flank, good to see our fan cams are getting involved. You can raise your hands and join them as well if you fancy. IEM.gg slash cam to show your support. Have a conversation. Turns out watching Counter-Strike is more fun with friends. Yeah. So you have something in common. You all want to watch this game right here, right now. So let's see which way this one's going. Vent not broken. Mid control taken, so if there is a window boost, it means Snappy can't go around the back lines here towards that B bomb site with ease. Bit of a whiff, Molly. And kind of just stumbling their way into these openings now. Definitely feeling that pressure. Already six in the bank for Riders. Diha, he's done it once. Could he possibly do it again in that opening duel? He's so good for it. Mopoz this time feels his wrath. It's actually a big scalp to take. Oh, damage done onto the oh. site. Deaths will go down without a kill. Feels like the first time we've seen that throughout this map. Yeah, just a bit shy of it onto Madden. I mean, this is a huge advantage now. They've managed to find two picks on two different extremities, mid and B. St. Pius over aggressive. You'll tuck into Palace and be responsible for A. Enables Alex to be a bit more freedom 
or have a bit more freedom here through mid. Davy G, one man against potentially five. Um, an AK-47 is all he has, no utility as well to force their hand. D is going to show presence towards A in mid. Alex. That's a kill. That's a kill. Have it. Should have it, does. Madden's gone. Tobias is rotating over as well now. Nice if Davy can get one or two here, there's a chance. Yeah, Davy does just need to slow him down. Good shot. Really nice. A snap onto Snappy appropriately. Sun Pius hard clear. Still to just get down Deha. With 20 seconds, that bomb goes down. It's Sphinx to plant and Hades to defend. Bomb has been planted. Sun Pius. Does he go for this? One bench, one planted. He knows that. Clearing through. Does connect onto Hades. And looking to stamp a third ticket. Sphinx. His next victim. It's a mind game at this point. He's been tagged and fragged. Nice handle from Spinks. Not many frags, but that one has impact. That's his first two kills within the game so far. So so massive. You see, once he gets on the board, rounds are going to quickly follow here for Entz. That AWP saved. Hades is going to be very, very happy about this. But to report quickly here, the buys are coming in from Entz immediately after that round. And I can see two Mac 10s. So this might be speedy out of uh, Snappy. Oh, it looks very speedy, doesn't it? It's got the Go Faster stripes written all over it. The fact that you've got some deliberate SMGs. It's a B play. This is very Entz. Yeah, right now, if they can punish this big bomb site here, they just were able to pick off Mopos on a late aggress. Davi, they're coming your way very quick. Mopos should hear that unless they ooh, do hit their walk keys appropriately. Oh, he heard it or saw them. Drops his panic smoke already being run down. So much space. Jumping through, taking space and heads and ends. Kick down the door and stamp and plant their flag. Oh, yeah, well, uh, Trace referenced it, right? That interview with Snappy on HLTV, if you want to check that one out. But uh, want to find the direct quote here. We always talk about the play style. We always have a bit of a chit-chat uh, how enjoyable some of Snappy's T-sides can be. He said they have a joke. Uh, we'd like to say, if rushing doesn't work, rush faster. So you see a little bit of that right there, just quick as you like, out onto the B bomb site. That space was taken so quick because Davy wants to drop that divider smoke, but they were past it. They were already in his face. They were what is up. And they're going to grab their fourth round of play here. Three rifles to be retained. Wow. So essentially, Spinks goes from 0-7 to three frags for seven and two rounds out the back of both of them. Quite nice, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, you know what? That's impact. Uh, in terms of conversions off of your frags, he opens up onto B, running through that divider smoke. And now the scoreline getting a whole lot more competitive. And those two MAC-10s get upgraded into silenced M4s. So uh, that's not too bad at all, is it? Now over here, you can see that with those saved rifles, Movistar Riders can drop themselves a couple of guns. They can make sure that they have a full buy. Is that a Frisbee collection or was that just a multicolored plate? I think they call them discs in the industry, Alex. Oh, excuse me, was that a competitive disc collection? You might need to get dust on the line to check that one out. I don't know Trace has a, a direct red line. phone. Oh, look at that disruptive Molly. He's actually given himself vision. Their run boost all the same. He could be susceptible to a Hades clear. But Alex, even though he does disrupt it, I think just by alone, them observing the smoke being a little skew whiff. Yeah, does he swing back out here? Alex is on his own, right? There's a lot of pressure on this angle. The team has to know the connector's a problem. They can weasel up everywhere. Tries to pivot on the timing of the smoke. If he actually followed through with that grenade, it could have found a big chunk of damage onto Snappy and Deha. Madden now working up Cat. Deha and Snappy. I set their sights on connector and well, pivoting back with the bomb is snappy. I think they're worried about some of these Movistar Riders re-aggressors, right? And we know that Mopoz loves to push that B bomb site every now and again. They may have caged him though with their B quicks. Alex lost his head, Madden. Big opening frag. Look at the radar. Look how split up the defensives now from the Riders. Two on A, two on B. The mid corridor is completely <gasps> free for ooh, Ent, and that ooh. shot felt free for some pies on the peak goal. Now Deha can't get it done, but Madden with the trade, and now all the pressure on the Orpa. Yeah, death's good for one on this engage. They're coming in for the plant. Snappy very confident in getting that one down. He knows only potential from CT. Mopos has caught Hades in mid. Not going to be easy to break back through despite the 3v3. Spinks does meet the all bullet. And just as I say that, the bodies are dropping. It's only Snappy. He planted. Awkward position to find himself in here. Just going to have to stick on this duel with Mopos. Mopos gets the info safely. Now that's his cue to get the hell out. Bomb is ticking. And Snappy catches the bullet. Some pious does manage to close the round eventually. Oh, okay. Well, uh, maybe overstepping the mark in a couple of those fights there because the riders sit back and they deliver. And they're going to get up to seven now. The plant was good. It's going to be a bit of extra cash to ensure an end buy. But that's a round that looked very, very good until it didn't. Right? Yeah. You get all the space, you get into the site, and then it drops the ball slightly. 
I'm sure that was probably just the conversation to have because their approach hasn't been bad. Alex up and out the window. He's going to make it down towards that underpass position. Mopo's lost in the smoke and a defensive smoke placed on out. Oh, Alex goes down again. First death to Dehart. And another one falls. Madden oh. with the second in the round. Can they really recover this quickly? It's a late trade. Madden gone. Deha known. Davi G opts to push aggressive, and it's always a funny mind game in the apps. Oh, Davi G, he's going to be sticking out. They're going to be kissing in the smoke, Ooh. and quick adjustment from Davi G. He's made it a 3v3. That is massive right now. There's real problems for uh, Ents to operate now. They had a big advantage. They actually had part of the map contained, but Davi's aggressive. How aggressive? Is he going to push forward? Is he dropping on back? What is he doing over towards the B apartments? A minute on the clock to ask and answer all of these questions, but Spink still perched up towards Palace is about to have reinforcements. This smoke achieves nothing. Absolutely nothing. They cleared mid as a unit. And now they're grouping for an eight take. Now is how, it, the question will, will be, is Des playing retake? Well, he's been great, hasn't he, in terms of when they've hit this site. He, he's just been able to deliver from ticket time and time again. And look at the Mopoz rotation. Scoops up a Molotov late. That could be instrumental with 40 seconds left on the clock now. They're starting to creep on up ramp. They could be out. He knows that. Hades is posted up now. Mopo's on a timer. Ahead of the flash. Oh, he didn't spot it, but sw swing out and Sphinx is in. The entire end squad committing. Lost his duel. Bombs loose. Problems, 20 seconds, and now a big shot from Hades. Oh, and Davi G just on the slither gap falls to Hades Orp, and they love it. And that fifth for Ents, and the funds are tight now for the Movistar defense. Still a close round, considering how that started. It was two very quick kills out the gates right there for Ents as the riders try and set the tone. They try and dictate the pace. And that one right there, this was the opening kill. That smoke dropped. D has been great over towards these B apartments. Several times he's found the opening kill. He goes down to this little smoke maneuver here and, oh, hello, I can see you, says Davi G. Back in with a broken buy, MP9's famous alongside this M4. And a shot from St. Pius is strong onto Snappy. Needs to get out of there, blocked by the box, but can now rotate and pivot around the map as Madden is quickly going to try and take this space. Yeah, quick re-smoke. He will just continue to maintain that presence and pressure. Smoke's all over the map at this point. They will start to fade. Madden gets a lot of room to get his short maneuvers set up. He's found a gap, hasn't he? They have to be aware it's possible, but it's quite quick after the AWP play, and Davy G, talking to room, has more than enough here and is hearing a lot. He's going back to T-Spawn and has been fully heard. Look at the setup. Look at the map. <laughs> it's very occupied, and he's even working on a very speedy flank. Oh, Deha, with his knife out. With his knife out, and the bomb, it doesn't get better for the boys of the Movistar Riders. He can just pull the plug, get out of there. And now they're in a very scary hot box. Madden is taking B space, but how is Hades supposed to get there? They have to allow him to go for a flank here, and... I don't think Mopo spotted him, but Madden's not looking. If he pivots on out, this should be a free kill for Mopo. Pause does address it. Madden's gone, and now Ents really are in a tight box. 2v5, what are you supposed to do? Save, I think, is the call. Uh, Hades' in-game body language tells a lot about that. As Mobby Star Riders, they're going to pick up their eighth round and secure the win on the half. Maybe some more damage to be done. As Dats is flirting with the idea of some aggression with this MP9. We'd love to get his hands on something a little bit juicier. Love that for Davy G as well. You know, this is the bomb site where he's been having to do a lot of work, a lot of uh, dirty work. This time, he doesn't get any of the, the same sound cues he's used to getting and takes the space immediately, leading to info and potentially the round. Which is crazy to take that type of a fight, considering how much we've been talking about Deha and how he's just been locking down or finding openings over towards the B apartments. But there it is. Round secured and ends. They have to operate with the two saved guns and about ooh, three and a half the high end. And I believe Madden was on the low end here. He's actually gotten dropped across an AK snappy. He's going to find himself with a MAC-10 in hands and a Galil ball up for Deha. So the buy looks better than it could. Util is one of the qualms. It'll either be 1400 for Movi or 1900 for Ent. So you can just see the back and forth nature of this game that we've had. Supplies posted up towards window here. Can retain so the cat smoke and window smoke follow. Very B slash mid centric out of Ents. Nothing towards A early. And they're trying to take this space mid. Snappy down with the MAC-10. He wants them to know. Snappy's here. You're going to have to look for me. Deaths has given that responsibility. And now Dave Davy G is going for something very brave. His teammates re-smoked him. So if they do choose to walk through this, 
They just executed B. There's a smoke kitchen window, but this is up to Snappy and Madden right now. And oh, oh, nice Madden strikes find. first. Yeah, clears out. Marpoz on the brakes. Davi G, just as that smoke is starting to fade, he's going to throw in some flames. I'd be deep. Ends can go anywhere with this. Deher is a real demon into these B entries, and Snappy's got the rotate completely cut off. Underpass to A would be nice here. Oh, Snappy lets it slip. Good Maybe catch. More. Knocks him off of the tool table. Des is hearing this. He's working it out. Sphinx so loud, stampeding into the site. Hard clears for him, and just as he looks away, Death pulls a 17th frag out of the hat. Good damage and an aid for Hades' name. He lives on. 3v3 here, time-sensitive mission. We do need to see a plant. Madden responsible for it. Can they contest it? The answer is no. Hades is perfectly placed and positioned. It seems like Ents may have done enough. Davigy's rotating through CT. Might have to be that save, remember. The loss bonus in the next it is miserable for either team here. So to give up all their weapons, to give up all of their guns right now would not be the call to make. And on the CT side, if you get that save, at least they're still going to get the loss bonus. So Davy G and Anson Pius, worst case, can drop something across here. Try and get some Famuses in the mix. See what they can help their squad mates out with because that's Ents bouncing back. And it looked really good from the riders. That smoke to deny the B execute. On the radar on top of your screen, you would have seen there was a kitchen window and a, a kitchen door smoke that had come on in. But the smoke of their own had negated a lot of that space. It was Terrorists all the room taken by Snappy and Madden, who, who having a breeze, just walking up catwalk, walking up connector and constricting these rotations. I think if you compared the T-halves of Snappy and Madden, you know, they have, they're playing a different game. Snappy is just getting BS'd on multiple occasions. He did, of course, uh, struggle to finish the job. But Madden's getting people with a back turn, stationary, and he's always getting the space up short. Isn't that crazy? Death's has 17 kills now. He is uh, leading the server by a large margin, and uh, most of that came in extremely early. They feels like they've been avoiding his bomb sites yeah. uh, a little bit more so, especially in the early round. In the late round, we see him finishing A. Yeah, I think the takeaway was, okay, he's hot, boys. He's hot. Uh, let's try somewhere else. And so yeah, are the Spaniards two up through the ladder room. Well, I guess if Madden keeps taking this space, this is one way to lock it down, right? Make sure there's two of you there. At least you can trade, worst case scenario. And he's coming again. Snappy yeah, here, here Madden, comes. working mid. Madden's been loving it. Snappy too, to, to be the supportive element. And Sun Pius, ooh, has actually taken down one on A. They're going to walk through this. Oh, Death may not be prepared. He's under Balk. Sun Pius doesn't have the info either. Barrel could be the end of him, and it is. Oh, Death's cooked. Spinks with a double A site entry. And should have this. Trying to change the dialogue now is Mopo's through connector. Snappy's not going to be ready for this one. It's a question of the trade from Madden. He's good for it. Strong post plant. Last round. It's all going into it. And another for Madden. He is definitely doing his duty here. No time for this. Three to find Davi G. The B defender late on the retake and no one giving him a fight. Absolutely no one. It's frustrating. Oh, it's very frustrating. You install a decibel reader on her phone and down by the sidelines there to see who will end up being louder. But the 1x bet odds are still favoring that of Ents. Davy G on the pass lurk over towards A is where the action's going down. Flash over and away we go. Good flash for the CT player. It's Madden. See if he can replicate the dominance we saw from deaths in this position on that USP, but it's not a commit. Interesting, a single flash, they're trying to almost fake a fake. Oh, three out of Palace here. They can snowball into the site and try and overrun Madden. Hades is the individual who needs to chime on in from Connector. Here comes the second wave of Util. Hades is there to address on his P2K. Spots him out, and oh, that's with so much info. They do leap into the site. Hades catches a bullet. Very low, finished off and tucked in by St. Pius, and he's handing out haircuts. Another this time for Snappy. Gets his mop chopped to D her and Spinks left, wondering what on earth they're supposed to do. A two versus five, and already chipped away at. Daffy G's even on the underpass with respect to D her. He's got his crosshair there, but falls apart. And Spinks, the last to be added to the list. Okay, well, they're getting allowed back now, and for good reason. They have a massive pedestal to put themselves up on both pistols. Both pistols, truth, right? Truth. If they get the conversion right here, this is fantastic for them early in map number one. Now, this was out in Palace straight towards Connector, not towards the CT fight that Madden would have been looking for. And a great round from St. Pius, just running through them, knocking them big. down and, wow, sending them into a force by scenario here. Ants, can they bite back? Deagles with a scout in the hands of Hades, some smokes to work with, but 
Not as easy on a map like Mirage to hold them at bay with utility. Like a cat smoked. These are the scary rounds, Chad. Ooh. Oh, and that gets scarier for Davi G as the scout bullet does embed itself into his Kevlar. One of the positives here is the fact that it's completely unconfirmed. Hades has no idea that he hit that shot. He doesn't know that somebody is the walking wounded in one of these Deagle bullets to the belly. Because as a scout player, if you're able to call out the tag, guys, I hit three of them. I've hit three that they're going to fall on over. Just sneeze. Back to smoke and molly combo there from Alex is now combing through this mid control. Looks like Sphinx is the one to get tested first. Bullets to the belly looks there won't like... There not be any uh, flashes. I don't, it does look like it might be Davi G that rounds the corner first at so the easiest click of his life. Just like that. So Pius loses his head as well. Sphinx is making this round costly. AK in hand. He's so threatening right now. Alex is behind him. He doesn't know. Needs this frag. Needs this right back immediately. Does provide it. Can he close the gap? Recovers the AK as well. Three becomes 3v3 and more required. Alex is blowing down the entire defense. Maybe Deha. Bomb planted. Bomb has been planted. Very little util. Reveals himself. Alex really got to play his life here. And Deha does greet him. This one's on. Like Donkey Kong. Galil finds another head death. So for some reason, not anticipating the speed. And Mopos just hiding on the site. D here and Mandan process of elimination begins. And that's a good find. Isolates the jewel. Puts D her down. Madden closing the gap on the D. Needed that from Mopoz. Tenth secure for the Movistar Riders and sweat off the brow as that second round force was very threatening. Oh, it's a huge round to win as well. Uh, again, just loud about a pistol with conversion. You know what that means? Freebie, cha-ching, the slot machine. It's all going to come their way now as 11. Should be all but secured here. We'll have to be that light investment. There's the tag. Very unfortunate, but that almost led to their demise. The easy shot from Sphinx. A couple of deagles smattered in there. Hades keeping it light for his AWP in later rounds. Yeah, timeout was just called there. So a big discussion to be had before getting into this one. And you lost a lot of bodies in the previous. If you're the riders, you want to keep as many of those alive as you can. You know the guns are coming out into the next. Hades should have just enough to get that AWP. He's been quite frugal with his cash. Could just be a simple A execute here. Up and over they go. The up and down smokes. And ahead of it, Madden had a chance. But the bullet not landing. Anything lethal. Anything at all, really. Yeah. A bit of damage done to Alex. Deathmatch here. Edge of the smoke. Madden will have an opportunity and seizes it. Takes down some Pius. No more casualties immediately, but they are close. Don't have to rush this plant. Albeit, smokes have faded already. And Death is still going to give it a go. Losing bodies. Snappy still finds one over the top of the box. And this deaths posted up, securing the round. Two casualties is about where it has to stop for the Movistar Riders. Sphinx can make it even more costly. Yeah, he could do something crazy here. He has uh, been kept relatively honest, old Sphinx. We saw his impact in the first when he was finding kills. Helped Ants get on the ball with a couple of rounds. There's a shot. Only well and truly known now. And as I mentioned, you want to keep bodies alive. So you can see the Riders aren't just wide swinging him, not giving him any chance here, making him walk on into the jaws. And Davi G will get it done. Now they're trying to scoop up the rifles, and they will. Nicely done. Well handled. Threatening, though. Ents definitely know that they can still lock this down. Uh, this is where it is really going to heat up, right? Because if Ents win this one, you know, they can bounce back in. They can take away a couple of guns. Riders likely down to a half bio or something a bit more forcey with Galil's in the mix. And Ents can start working on their CT hole. But this is two slow starts after the pistol round losses for Ents here. Now, in the first half, they did get the first gun round. Let's see if they can do that again. Deha out middle. Hades trying to oversee, but this is looking very direct towards A. Damage to Sphinx's head as he goes down. Madden on the tray, but they can just hit the brakes now. It's a 4v3 how out often, the gates. How often do you have that exchange? And more found. Death has taken down Deha's mid crawl. Uh-oh. Yeah, big uh-oh. Red flags. Four ends defense. They could lose everything here. Hades investing into the AWP as well. Snappy had a quiet start to this quarterfinal. That's very problematic, isn't it? But I mean, to return to that palace exchange, I yeah. mean, that's a rarity, no? I think it's something that maybe you'd want to go for on the CT side with two to get a default player. Someone yeah. who just would lurk apps, right, on, on their lonesome. But the fact that they're greeted with so many bodies and so many bullets, like, yeah, that's going to stop maybe a lot of these aggressive maneuvers from Ents going forward within this second half. But this has massive ramifications, especially if the riders can take away all of these guns. It's happy to be tested here by deaths. Timing's everything. Oh, he spots him. It's going to get a free frag. So they know where one is. They know it's maximum one AWP on A. And it's some pies to take the gamble, just plunging into the A site and taking space. He is exposed. 2v2 does now. go down. They've managed to make this competitive round. 
30 seconds. Through the Daffy, smoke. what? Straight through the smoke. Forces Daffy G into a clutch scenario. Orp on CT. Snappy quick to close this gap. Davy G gonna get run down. Straight through the smoke. Snappy closes the round. What a turnaround. Three, was it two? Two v four. Two bodies lost early in that Palace exchange. Oh, and that's huge. Snappy and Hades have had the least amount of impact, uh, or at least as far as the frag department goes for their team so far. The two lowest fraggers for end step on up and turn around the round, and this is it. Just Deaths walking in. He's the uh, bait on the end of that fishing rod, just seeing what's available. That is huge from Snappy as well to find that kill. If you're Alex, just ten pistols upgraded over towards the B-bomb site. It's an opportunity for Spinks to farm up some kills alongside of his in-game leader, Snappy. Snappy far too switched on to allow any funny business with the quick B. Oh, hang on, revenge could be quick and swift. Deaths does manage to avenge from the former round. Spinks puts him down as there are more to come. The nade could be great. Sailing through, good aim and spray from Spinks as he deters the invaders. D has arrived and nothing to celebrate for the Mobby Star Riders. Ooh, relatively clean, right? It could have got awkward. You saw what happened to Davy G when he got run down against a similar fast player that entered in the first half. Well, Spinks recovers after Snappy's death. And the gun should be coming back out for the riders here. Opportunity now for Ents to really start closing the gap. 11 to 9, the score reads. Will not be an AWP available for some pious right now. And that molly that landed, you could see it just kind of cascading over the window, stalled out the rest of the rush. Right, That, that was the key difference maker. They weren't able to get into the site and capitalize on death's opening. Yeah, going for a very aggressive maneuver, and it's worked out. Davy G just sprayed down. Flashes, smokes, doesn't stop Deha. And Hades appropriately looking under. If Alex oversteps this mark and just goes down, it's become so hopeless yeah, as an in-game leader to have to try and call in a round like this. Like losing one player early, all right, we can still operate in a 4v5. But losing two and then being in a 3-on-5 with so much time on the clock and no space taken, you just have to wonder what, what can we do to get back in. So the temptation of leering mid has caused the demise of Davi. Now back towards A, where Madden up close and personal in the sandwich position. They do have a Molotov, two of which, but they go in contact. Didn't throw the Molotov. Some pies, you've got to consider this. Does. And eliminates Madden without a bullet fired. We immediately return to an even keel. Four on four. Mopos to deliver the bomb. A high flash. And Hades always oh, missed the shot. Loses vision. Mopos got to be careful with that bomb here. Sphinx is ready to swing out on CT. Off that flash. Oh, everyone's blind. So blind. This can go either way. This is the duel. One for one. Snappy arrives as well. Down to 45. Bullets left and right. Alex struggling to find anything lethal. And now just deaths up against them all. And the spray just shy. It will be a tenth for Ents. This gap has closed and it's closed quickly. It's crazy how hot and cold Movi can feel. Just four deagles out with one Glock. And looking for heads on ramps. Mopoz is in the flames here. Boost has been spotted. Madden's nade destined for success. Davy G goes down again. Another first death for Davy. Having a rough go of things here on this T half. Yeah, Madden's set for this retrieval. It's just Alex putting himself in the cross set. So we're going to tie things up. Neat and tidy with all five alive as well. So a little extra cash on that win bonus. That is really tidy. It, it is indeed. Madden up to 21 kills. Now that's going to do wonders for his confidence. He's uh, catching and breathing down the neck of Deaths, who's at 22. He had a marvelous first half. This is both of the A anchors uh, who have been having very good games. Now this is where riders, that, that gun round, that timeout they took, this is where we're going we're to see the fruits of that labor, right? What, what were we talking about? What's the change up going to be? Because when they went for the default before, Davy G can't go down top mid, right? On that and then dip away like nothing ever happened. Well, here he goes. Was the strafe? No. Straight down. Over the boost. Yeah, it could be. Oh, there are no man's oh, lands. Okay, he's dead. And now a response. Davy G looking the wrong way. And that's it. Well, oh, he's lucky to get away here. It felt like there was a miscom on what the actual plan was. Deha's down next to his brother and, and Hades is looking at him like, what do you want? What do you want? What I'm, are you doing here? I've got something to do. I've got places to be, people to see. In the four on four, this can really stall out. And for the riders, you're starting to think there's a couple of positives here. Okay, well, we, we found ourselves early into an even exchange. They have a couple of smokes left over, some flashes, some mollies. Now it's about regrouping and not giving away a, a kill without a trade. Possible. Death's still throwing a fake towards B. We'll draw Hades over to help out Snappy. 
Spinks burrowed down on A with Madden overseeing business. And mid is a weakness right now. But Ents have been so aggressive there throughout. The Riders don't want anything to do with it just yet. Looks like you're starting to see the plan take shape. Window Alex, smoke, perfectly timed. Just as he does leave his hidey hole, provided with a smoke to obscure window. Hades has to be kind of on a bit of a swivel to be aware of both apartments and the window flank. A well timed molly here as well. Snappy's held it back. Who's oh. gonna push? Oh, straight Snappy. through. Back to turn. No trade. And Eska just comes through. Death nearly loses his life as well. So Pius makes it clear where they're coming. Need to hit that wall bang if he can. 19 seconds and Spinks can still destabilize. Mopos would have to hit a bang. Oh. Uh, and he has. Maybe there's still a chance for a plant. 10 seconds. Mopos has to do more. Madden, edge of the smoke, loses his head. Mopos can't finish the job. One shot, one kill. Needs two more. Hades in the clutch. Looking to really shatter the dreams here of the Movistar Riders. Low HP. Doesn't matter with the AWP. Just has to hit them. Knows they're likely close. Jungle the angle. Desk is straight foul. And he does give him an opportunity. Expecting the response from Pius. Looks away. Oh. Still hits it. One more required. Time sensitive. And it's just too much to ask. 12 on the board for the Spaniard. Oh, oh, oh. that early exchange. They worked that perfectly there. The utility was fantastic. You saw Snappy have to take a risk to try and turn the round in his favor. If he doubles up there, Snappy, that round is likely done and dusted. And then Mopos. Well, he finds out Spinks. He clears his corners. This one here was huge. Hey, you're sticking out quite wide. And through the smoke, he finds Madden as well. So beautiful stuff from the Riders to grab their first round back in what has been four consecutive rounds right now for Entz. Remember, no more timeouts here for Entz to call. They can buy again and back towards mid. As it is a change up from the Riders. Quite heavy over towards B. Looking if that AWP can find them anything on the jump. Snappy needs to be very careful with the way he searches for this information. Deep smoke. They'll buy them some time and actually should send them packing. I have to look elsewhere for a pick for the next 20 seconds or so. Yeah, you can see Enzo aware and ready. Well, mid info denied. Standard par for the course in the mid util. Oh, Davy G given an opportunity. Come and Spinks. You can try and kill Spinks, keep him busy, but now he's activated. Takes down Davy G. They know he's there. Late through short. Mopos down as well. Alex just tucked on the bench. Very susceptible to an orb shot, Snappy. Tagged. Still not fragged. They can't seem to find him. They're just hiding behind the bench, and Death runs to his. 2v3. Still so close. The Glock does connect. They know D has here. He doubled up. He shot, but I don't think they expect it. Oh, they do now. Whiffed it. Uh oh. Yeah, Alex needs one. Does provide it onto D. Another 1v1 established. Can Alex post his fourth? He's done so much. And on this low HP, up against the AWP, even the P2K could come out to close the job. Bombs loose. Just like that. Hades closes the round this time. <laughs> 1v1s back to back. This time ends take it. Yeah, you can see how tight it is. And Alex is almost the hero coming late cat again. Oh. He did that to them against the force by right? Alex comes late cat, gets three, almost does enough there. Catches Spinks. And this is it. Like, Snappy wants to go down because Deha's come and taken this exact same position. And look, a little bit of a flub from Deha there. You can see what the pressure is. Makes that sound cue, gives up his position. He goes down and puts the pressure on Hades for the clutch. But back to the pistols are the riders. And Snappy's getting loud now. This is a competitive quarter, man. 12-12 coming down to clutches. If they execute A right now, it's just Madden on the site. He's going to need to get multiple kills because it's quite a mid-centric defense right now from Ents. Here comes the util. Madden, it's on you. What have you got for us? Already ready to unload the mag. Leaves with three. Nothing to celebrate. Nothing left of them. One minute, 29. We conclude round 25. Swift dismantling of the eco. Yeah, well, you love that, don't you? And that's a great opportunity there just to get the confidence even. Insta window smoke thrown out. Away we go. Is it pace? Is it a little bit more of a tentative temptation as Davi isn't going to cross top mid, but Madden's made it into the underpass. Yeah, now we've seen them try this on their attack, or rather defense, but aren't they ready for it? Alex is and holds his nerve, holds his spray, and takes Madden out of the equation. Remember how important this round is as far as the Ooh. finances are concerned. Did Davy see him? I don't know. Yes, he does. Does adjust. Fires off a warning shot. Spinks just stands and ready for the duel. He needs to get out of there now. Half health on short, he says. 
Snappy's pushing B apartments here. Could be a lot on Snappy's shoulders. You can see the bomb, it's up in the apartments, and oh, that spam on through it. It gives them a lot of information that he has pushed up. And they were setting up for what was looking like a B, and they, well, they still are. If Snappy thinks that he scared them away with that aggressive maneuver, he would be wrong. Sphinx is staying. d still towards window. Hades, close A ramp. If it's a B execute, Hades' rotation is miles away. It's almost quite literally the opposite side of the map. Okay. This has led to a favorable execute then onto the B site. Davigi still in mid, can maintain the presence. This Snappy's is great rotating. from Alex. He's pulled them off the B site completely. Diha doesn't have answers, it's still smoked. Sphinx, they're coming. They are. He's got so much to deal with now. Two from short, as usual. It's working again. Death is broken in, takes Sphinx down. Have to save. They have to save. We talked about this. They really do not or cannot stomach a full wipe of their finances. That is just outmaneuvered, right? The opening kill with an aggressive maneuver like that from Madden, you can see it just coming back to hurt. He was on his own, he couldn't trade, tries to take the risk, tries to use the spawn, and gives up an opener right there to Alex, who was playing a bit more of like an off angle, right? Perched up on the wood, not sitting back with the tip of his noggin. So a great round. A great round from the Riders here. And, and Snappy showing himself in B apartments. I know he didn't physically, but the bullets did. Said, I'm up here. If you want to come, you're gonna have to clear me close. And it's never an easy clear. So that is great from the Riders to stick to their guns. And Death is, you know, not only is he a pillar of defense over on the A site initially, he's now starting to really be a bit of an entry fracker as well. He's thrown himself into the ring first. This time he catches Spinks on that short side, distracted by this late two-man short that's working wonders for the Movistar Riders. It was Alex up late, again finds a frag. Their mid-util arriving around 45 seconds, sowing complete destruction and a little bit of second guessing from end. So 13-13, this is Death walking out. Sphinx has got himself in two minds. You could see there was steps from Davy G. Death's leaping out the window at the same time. It looks good. Well, these set guns are worth their weight in gold here. It's allowed Ents to get back another full buy. The only omission is one defuse kit. Sphinx could have bought one, Hades, Snappy, they all could have bought a kit. If that comes into play late, remember that Diha has the only defuse kit right here, right now, as he unloads through the smoke. So Pius on the boost will not be gifted anything as He's been able to get Spinks up in the vent room here, a bit more committed towards mid. Hades on towards short with the AWP and, and Snappy flirting with the B rotation right now. So A is currently the more susceptible bomb site. Could have Hades v some pious here. Or be all a rare ex exchange head to head, and it does go some pious way. Does that lure them into this position though of Spinks who needs to get at least one if they push up his corridor? So much time in this round and Spinks is gonna come down that ladder, Davy G. Oh the flash still loses his jewel. Sphinx not having any issues oh. in the jewels in the one in the window. Alex has taken down Diha as easy as that. That's the kit loose now. So they will need to get that if they want to go for a retake here in the post plant, or it'll be a 10 second defuse. And this is gonna feel like a B. Watch this. Deaths to arrive onto B. Does he have a util? Mm, a nade's not great, but he could sell it just with his frag and body. His teammates have thrown some util as well. Nade's good. Savvy's gonna call this clear though. Sphinx is looking for something in middle and still has Alex towards the underpass. Nothing to report in mid. Wait, where's some pies going? All the way back through T-spawn. Sphinx could catch them here. This could be masterful. Oh, maybe. Maybe. Just looked away. Did he hear anything? He said walk now. They've left B. They've completely left B. This could be the play. If he goes all the way around A, if Sphinx thinks it's A, yeah. it's the wrong call. He thinks it's A. Moppers is selling it now. They are keeping them guessing so brutal. And they've got wide open B bomb site. Movistar riders are running rings around Ents. And Madden, Madden. ready for this. He's going to go down. Moppers gets a free kill right here, right now. That's the oh, round. It's surely the round. They just want to hold on now, and Snappy's looking for Moppers. Finally gets it. Nothing more to celebrate, though, as that is a great call. Again, calling circles around the end's defense. The timing right there from Sphinx. If he was one or two steps forward, he could have actually heard and even maybe killed some Pius right there. So timing, cruel right now to answers. Riders are the first to get to 14. We have Vertigo waiting in the wings, but map number one already delivering. I hope we get more of this throughout the series. Exactly what you want to see from both of these teams. Locking horns, going toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Yeah, there's a reason they're both in the quarterfinals. You know, I think for some, Movistar Riders were definitely an eyebrow raiser in the fact and the way in which they secured it. Could they keep that up? You know, can you really keep that momentum up? You're flying so high. You've been a team and a unit developing for some time now. But uh, round 28, let's get ourselves into the nitty gritty. And it is a little bitty for Snappy. He's going to have to go for an MP9. He actually dropped two M4s, the one that he saved, right? And he dropped another one across. And I was talking about the fact they only had one defuse kit in an earlier round. That's actually come back to help them in a big way, right? 400 bucks for one of those. So by holding on to some residual cash, they have a very decent buy. Four sets of head armor, one for Kevin. 
We've got Smooya right there. I know he's a bit of a Mobby Star Riders fan in the fan cams. You can go and join him. Go and say hello. Go and join the fun as this one is heating up. Over towards A again. This time it's much more of a direct approach. Nents have gone back for that three heavy mid control. Hades doesn't have an AWP this time to try and defend with. He's just over towards Ticket. Ballsy call, cool. okay. And all in. Here we go. Smoke sail. Davi G to try and entry. Molotov to stop the swing. Hades actually throwing out a defensive smoke upon the execution. Keep them guessing, make the clears harder. Do you want a rotation from Madden or Snappy? They're not moving. The Mobby Star Riders have faked them out too many times, perhaps. Bit of a wound there. This has got a gap. A gap he does try and exploit, but Davi G takes the scalp, a big one. Hades fights back, as does Deha. Even trades. Left in a 3v3, bang through the box. Davi G will go down. It's a double from Deha. Deaths in the post plant. Sun Pius, both ramp side. This can go wrong in so many different ways. Still worried about the flank. They group up on the cross, a good flash to get across. Deaths, dancing, great find on the first, all onto Sun Pius now, he just has to deny. Kit is on Madden, he's in the smoke, but he hits the first, needs to hit this one bang, he can't even check it, doesn't find it. 14 is secure for Renz, and again, these two teams cannot be separated. Oh Lord, this is so close. These last string of rounds we've had, the clutches, the one-on-ones, this retake right here, right now. Oh. Ah, this is getting real tight. Dia did a lot here. Yeah, great trading. And the fact that he just keeps on banging through the box there and finds Davi G, that's a massive one to find on back. Putting himself on the line is snappy. And Madden just hoping, just hoping that AWP bullet doesn't track him on down. 14-14, buys back in, looking a little bit better for the riders here. Is why not rinse and repeat? One of the younger CS fans, I think, is on the fan cam there. They're going back for another A execute, but this time there's nobody over towards Ticket, at least as the round starts. I say that Hades starting to rotate around the long way. Is it really just a... Rinse and repeat, uh, why rinse not? Rinse and repeat, okay. Oof. That's not fun for Davi G. Catches one on the nose. Here they come again. The exec util is there. Deher again to be activated. Madden, good for the first. 26, he's really catapulting himself to the top of the scoreboard and sending the Movie Star Riders down. Oh. Deher nearly finds one straight through the smoke. Mopo's low. Could be put lower here. Deha does strafe out a little wide. A bit greedy into the Sun Pius Orb. No way back. Sphinx is going for the flank here. Hades needs to stay alive. Allow his teammate to work. Hard fact for Alex to find as well. Yes, Alex does somehow pull it out, but they're so low. Snappy catches an Orb bullet. Lives on at 24. This is the Sphinx flank. This is the round now. If he goes for Palace late. Oh, Alex is oh my God, he's coming back around. He's going to get the info. Sun Pius, one behind, one in front. Snappy ops for connector. They're planning safe. They're getting it down. And he's seen him cross. Snappy's seen him cross. A lot of information. Sphinx actually has opted interestingly to join Snappy. So they'll be worried about ramp when they shouldn't be. Good find onto Snappy, but they're surely not going to work this one out. He has the element of surprise here. Moppers may have heard him. I'm not sure. Yeah, they check it. Oh, what a snap. He knows Sphinx he went CT. looking to come up clutch. Nading CT, not looking the right way. He needed that from Mopos, holds his nerve, and two taps puts 15 on the board first. Oh, that one is really going to sting right here. The back and forth nature, the loss bonus. I spoke about being a CT side and getting broken at this juncture of the game. Ends are definitely broken. What a huge round again. Just this oh. game, the back and forth nature of all of this, these close scenarios. Even this 1v1 as well, like it's so nerve wracking. I think there's a little bit of an inf but Mopoz with this HP, he cannot miss this first bullet. Has the time, constantly moving, back of the head, finds it. A big one to be posted by El Toro. A biffin out mid right now, this is aggressive. Mopoz leading the charge. Looking for it, looking for trouble, looking to finish this in regulation. No slip ups allowed. Four of them out mid. Spinks trying to be the hero, the only big gun, Famas, in play. He knows he has to be active. Madden's already calling Palace clear. It's a little nugget of info. They're coming back, though. And if they come back towards Palace, uh, Madden just plays to contain. He doesn't need to play for info right now. If he pushes too far, he will go down. Mopos flirting with the idea of pushing his way, aware that this Palace push is possible. They've just gone into a default spread right now. It was heavy mid. Now it's very stand as they creep and they crawl their way out top mid. Some Pius with the AWP has Alex and Davi G beside him. No info mid right now, friends. They are flying blind. A B split would be amazing because Snappy and Spinks on the side, they're going to be stuck on down worrying about all these different corridors. Molly will stop that jump. Hades wants info just to 5-7 and ooh, Madden's actually caught Mopoz on that palace push. He just called T-spawn clear. They know that it's not A. Well, at least it's not A through ramp. Through the mid smoke, some 
bullets to bait. Hades, they've run past him. So Pius needed that. Davi G delivers through the smoke, though. Madden can do a lot of damage. Even trades. Ends up making this competitive, and Spinks has fallen. They can't stop that. There's nothing they can do to stop that plan. It gets really awkward for Enz. This is their pick. This is where they wanted to take it. And Movistar Riders looking to pip him at the post. Last round of regulation, a man advantage. I don't even see a kit. They have to be finding these frags, finding them now.